All right, so you guys have been asking for it. These are custom homes, and the best part is, yeah, inside is amazing, but wait till you see what you get outside. That's right, we found a community right outside of Houston, Texas, where you can get an acre to two and a half acres and build your own custom home. The best part about this is, even though these houses just like this one here are amazing, custom, beautiful, you are not gonna have to pay a lot for these things. We are just outside of Katy, Texas, Cypress, Texas. We are in Waller, Texas, actually right next to Bridgeland. And what we're gonna be doing is going into a couple of these homes today to show you what you can get out here in this private community with acreage estates. So the first house there is gonna be more of your entry level home, and then we're gonna get into this one here. I am actually in love with this one the most, believe it or not, but I gotta take you down over here because those are gonna be fully customizable houses. Anything you wanna do to them, and I know what you're thinking. Jackson, Jojo, you guys are crazy. These are gonna be 1.5, $2 million. No. That's the beauty of moving out to this area. And as we learned why so many locals in Katy, Texas are moving out here in droves and waves. So we're gonna show you inside of these fully custom homes out here where you can build your own shop. Yes, some of you wanna build a shop, you can do it out here. So workshops, casitas, custom pools, anything that you want because you got all the space in the world and you're not gonna have to break the bank. So you're not gonna wanna miss this video. Again, this will be the second house that we go in and I think it's one of my favorite, but wait till we go into the fully custom houses right down here. In fact, one of them, it's already sold. We're gonna get you exclusive access into a house that is available today, right now. It is gorgeous. So let's find Jojo and let's get into house number one. All right, here we go. This is a David Weekly home. This is going to be an amazing starter price point out here in this specific area. What's really exciting about this modern farmhouse style house here that David Weekly has is you have seen them all throughout the major suburbs of Houston from Cypress to Fulcher all over the place. They're one of the premier builders out here in Houston. And so what they've done out here on one and two acre lots is they've built this modern farmhouse style and I'm excited to take you inside to see what that looks like, Jackson. Man, it's going to take us a little bit of time to get in there but first of all how cool is this we look around and we're gonna get them into that amazing house too one of the craziest living rooms kitchens I've ever seen in my life but see these huge circle driveways all around here Jojo I mean so much space these are over an acre right here this is an upgrade to do the horseshoe driveway on these homes however it accommodates it and I would not leave it out if you were gonna buy this house from scratch and I'm gonna take you inside of this house this house right here sits right around 3,000 square feet and they're not building many of these homes as we've talked to the sales rep Jackson why is that because these things are are selling really really fast and yeah. they have a very good economical efficient product even behind the walls on what they do Jackson I knew you were gonna get that I was gonna you stop was you, Jojo. Me. you <laughs> was waiting for me that's just wrong man I thought we were boys <laughs> no but the cool part was he said we're gonna get you inside here this is really cool I want you to just notice even on the outside of the house you know you've got so much different just texture you got so many different just elevations whatever you want to call this right here just detail you won't see this in a lot of the other houses so this is kind of your starting point right but he said they're building most of the houses over 3,000. They're doing more like four to 5,000. So you can get, if you like what you're seeing in here, they can stretch these things out. Extra bedrooms, extra square footage, all of that, so. That's right, and not only that, it's the amazing price point they have on this product. Yep. The reason why is because as you'll see, some of the other ones are full customization products. And this one right here, they have the floor plans picked out. Now there's some minor details that you can change on the inside. For example, closets and different little things like that. Hold on, we're gonna get right into that house, but first this video is sponsored by, well, really nobody, but JoJo does something absolutely hilarious before this video, and I just kinda wanna get you guys laughing, so let's check out a mic check. Microphone check, check, check. Microphone check em. Yep, this is Joe Rodriguez. You don't talk that loud, Coming Joe. at me right now. That's how I talk. <laughs> That's how I talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackson. Come on in and make yourself at home. And as you see this house, it impacts you as well. It has just such a wow factor as well. It's open, it's bright, it's airy. 
just has a really nice feel to it. And like you've been mentioning, all these details that these builders put in here, this is a very easy upgrade to do into a house even once you moved in. Yeah, so you're gonna notice throughout this entire house that the detail they've put into every wall, everywhere, is just so unique. But you're also gonna notice this is a single level floor plan. This is right? a single level floor plan right here. They're utilizing this space as a study. And immediately, as you see, Jackson, you walk into the entirety of this home. You still have the sliders back here, which I would always advise to do if you're able to have the opportunity to build from scratch. Watch, then, out, watch out, Jojo, that doggy behind go get you. Right here. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's a good boy. He don't move. He does not move. He's ready for a biscuit. Okay, we're not real. I thought I thought he was coming to get you, Jojo. Coo you already let you trip. I wasn't going to let you get bit Coo by a dog. Cujo's ready for a biscuit. You know, that's the theme out here, though, is a lot of dog leashes, dog parks. You know, the mudrooms have spots for dogs, but... They do. Get right back into it. So now we've got this big open kitchen. And again, so this is like farm living. You get acreage out here. You want to be able to see it. This is acreage, modern farmhouse, open living. And notice this expansive kitchen right here. You have a nice island that's you know strategically situated to the living area and to views of the outside and the breakfast area. Just want you to see these custom cabinets. Look how big and amazing this piece right here is for the vent hood, how they've encased around it. You still get the nice 36 inch gas appliances on there. That's an option. You have cabinets that don't just go up 42s right here. They've even extended one up to give you that designer piece with the glass inserts and the light beaming through it. Yeah, and you got multiple colors here. This is cool too, man. You got the country living, got to have your big farm table. We're calling everything farm. Farm this, farm that, but you got a ton this of This is your right country here. table, Jackson. Get your <laughs> biscuits right there, huh, Jojo? Yeah, so what's really nice is you have these three little windows, featured windows back here on the back, and then you have more windows overlooking the entire backyard space there, and imagine having just an enormous pool back there. And what was the sales guy letting us know as well? that you can even have a casita on here as well as your workshops. That's right, so you can build a shop, barn, casita, pool, you name it. But what you got behind you there? Right here, you have a walk-in pantry. Cool, so tucked away here and again, in the back, plenty of it, space. These You need these big walk-in pantries to bring in all your goods. And again, being out here, there's so many uh, advantages to being out where we're strategically situated. Like you can go out to the farms and get fresh produce, eggs, all kinds of stuff out here. They actually said that you could still pick watermelons some of the fields that they're developing right now. Yeah, and they do sell them out there, so don't just go, you know. <laughs> yeah, so you got the uh, primary over here. We'll wait on that, but let's go check out what else you get in this house. Yeah, sure. Let's come on over here, Jackson. Let's take a look over here, and then we'll get to the other bedrooms on Man, the look other at that side. Wall. And I don't know if they even noticed that you got a brick wall right here painted with that like acid washed white, whatever, and then you got the green here light floors all right so you have a split floor plan right here to your left you'll have the utility room now real quick it does look a little tight here and you're like okay it's a little bit tight to the wall well they brought the washer and dryer in here and the cabinets were an inch low so that's gonna get brought up and then these will be able to slide back and you'll have a lot more space in here but good size and as you see here you got a spot for the old dog leashes and a full folding station and you still here. have a closet in here got a corner drop station right here with the ship lap. So right here as you come through here, imagine a door there and then this wall not here. This would be your garage space. So they can do one of the garages. Two car, three car. You're gonna have three car minimum out here. So this would be the one car and then you still have another two car bay. Perfect, so this is how you'd walk into the house. You've got a closet immediately. Got your mud room over here, got the drop station, and then... And then you have a nice full bedroom over here with the full bath. Not full bedroom, but a full bath is yep. what I was referencing. So you've got the full bathroom right here, tile shower. This is like your, your mother-in-law suite out here. It this is right your in-law in suite. Comes in from the garage. Comes in from the garage. Hey, you, you live out here in the country, Jojo. Got you get you a 10 gallon hat right there. Look at that. Which one would be best on you, you think? You guys should vote in the comments. What, what's Jojo's color, blue? Is it the blue? Baby blue. Yeah. All right, we'll move on. So uh, also before we walk around the house, I just wanted to show that they do have the oversized doors and not only are they oversized, they're the solid core doors. All the doors in here? All the doors are solid core doors. All the doors are solid core doors. <laughs> and you got a half bath right here, just so outside of the living room, there's a half bath. You don't have to go into the uh, bathroom for the you know additional room there okay so let's come on over here to the last of the bedrooms and we're going to work our way down here past the flex room yep. so we've got a, a bedroom here with a closet we, we have a full bath Look at the collars joe i'm digging it yeah you like that right yeah so you've got the tile shower all the way up 
to the ceiling there. And what's this, Joe? This is your flex space room right here. Okay, so what else could you do possibly? Well, you could extend out as well. Yep, or they could make two suites here if you needed extra bedrooms as well. Correct. They said the majority of, or they haven't had that done yet, and most people are keeping this it. This is a this. very popular feature, especially on a single level that yep. you don't have a, an extra game room. This is gonna pair very well for that, especially with the kiddos and their toys. And let, let me get the closet door for you. Again, check out all the different colors, features. It's just a lot of detail in, in this building. A lot of detail. Homes. Notice that they still have even a walk-in closet here on the secondary bedrooms. With a window, a lot of windows that check out all your space out front, which is You nice. know, when you're out here in the country and you're on an acreage lot, I mean, it's nice to have windows everywhere so you can enjoy what the outdoor, you know, part of that outdoor bringing it inside as well. All right, so here we go. We're going to get to the owner's retreat back here on the back side of the house. And again, it's going to have nice views to your backyard you almost paradise. Forgot, Jojo. You oh, that's right. Right. This is an all-time favorite and this has been a request and we have the sliders here so that is to cool. the left and to the you right got all the space It's February. It's 70 degrees it's February. This is Man. nearly perfect you weather. You don't even need to shut these today. It's perfect Temperature and look at this oversized patio right it's here. It's not even just oversized it, even in the height of it Yep. Is expansive. Yes. I mean, you got plenty of room out here, obviously, to uh, put whatever. So, yeah, I want you to visualize this space. What it is, is you got so much room in between the neighbors, but look at these nice farm style fences that allow you to enjoy the, the expansive space out here in the country. See the play area over there? They're going to have more than one out here. I believe it's going to be in three in total. And you can also envision you got all the space here, but now you could have a big shop, you know, as long as it matches the. You can extend the patio out. You could have an amazing pool out here of any size that you're mine has you can have a workshop a casita so much you can do out here and have all the, the toys out here the boat the four-wheelers you know everything else now let's go check out the primary again look at this they got the hanging plants up here got that beautiful white with the dark contour just a cool look it is and that would be coming in looking at your gorgeous house and kitchen right here and also the the entry point and the price point we'll get to that later however it's it's uh it has such a great entry level point for what they're building out here on the acreage lot all right jackson we'll come over here to the owner's retreat what yes. in here you'll have you'll see that it's this is cool. a nice big room plenty of light coming through you have coffered ceilings not only do you have coffered ceilings you have stained beams up there on the ceiling as well Yep, and the height of these ceilings is so big. And again, even some of the houses that we'll show here in a little bit that are way more custom, bigger, they don't have the details that this house has, you know, with the stained yeah. beams, the headboard. See how it's off the wall a little bit with a light on it. It's a really cool look, you know, having different contours of wood and they're even going different directions. I just, I guess you guys comment down below. Is it too much? Do you like it? Not like it? But I think it's really fascinating and you can see the oversized room here. So you've got this king size bed and I just uh, actually dressers. I just had a phone call with the client just text me that building a custom home as well and they wanted a carpenter to do stuff like this and also extra details so yeah. I mean we have the contacts as well for that they do it here again th this this builder is going to have a lot more just like pizzazz I guess you would want to call it but a lot more just colors they do and look how nice and, and uh, open this uh, primary bath is yep and you get the gold you got that blues there's a light lot blues there's a lot going on in here you have double vanity sinks but how many times we walk in and that you just see everything all at once right. this one you have to kind of just flow over this way and then you walk into the closet so you oh nice Big and then oversized. another little pocket window you can't see outside but it's there for natural lighting Yep. So you got the big walk-in closet and you're right. So now from your master, you're not staring at the shower or the bathtub. It's back there it's, privately. It's right over here. Yeah, it's completely private. It's Look pretty big. That, that tile wall. And then all the way, you got the little JoJo sitting stick. That's right. There. They even have the cascading shower that will flow right down here too. There you go. And really cool tile wall there. And then tucked all the way over here is your okay bath. yeah this is definitely a different you know style setup than and it doesn't get much more private than that in there nope you're hunkered way over there so all right so if this is just the beginning stages again wait till you see the price on this you're going to be shocked now what we're going to do is go into this and i'm really excited about this although the custom houses they're just out of this world and again i want you guys to know that some of the houses that we find that are way smaller than this next to your neighbor in these suburbs are way more expensive than these houses out here so what we're going to do i got to find jojo again we're going to go in and check out this house right when you walk in again i don't want to spoil it but it's probably one of the cool if i were to buy a house this is the exact 
way I would go. But then stay tuned because we're gonna go into the fully custom homes and I will just break it right now. They have a few of them here right now that are easily sub the $800,000 mark. So <laughs> you're gonna see crazy custom, fully custom houses out here with an acre or two acres. So just stay tuned, but let's go into this house now. Oh, and did I mention one of you guys, the viewers, you know who you are. You're out here right now. In fact, we've been meeting a lot of you guys out here shooting videos. And the main reason they were moving out to this area or thinking about it is they're retired. They want a quiet, good place. And they also are gonna have the grandkiddos and they want them to be able to ride around in these kind of, you know, circle driveways and stuff. Actually, you can see the kiddos right behind me. So let's get into this second house. All right, I'm really excited about this one, Jackson. Why is that? Because this country living style house right here, I mean, you can see in the background everything it has, but let's start off. Look at this amazing front yard, acreage property. Look, you get your own ditch. Did um, you just say acreage? Acreage. Acreage with that beautiful custom home. This has got to be a $10 million property, Joe Now, Joe? there's so many modern features about it and traditional features. There's just so much going on. But look, what I wanted to show, look, Jackson. Is Our this, viewers are like, just get in that I know, house, but Joey, Joey. It's Joe. so much I'm stumbling across myself here because <laughs> this driveway, not only do you get a horseshoe driveway, you get a driveway that goes up to the back, goes into a three-car garage. You have this nice country setting type style fence that allows you to see all the land throughout the community. Man, I'm just, I'm looking at that front porch, Joe. Joe too. I the mean, front porch, but I know imagine, you like to sit down every once in a while. That, that's where you'd be hanging out. I do, but Joe I just Joe. love that you can't get a driveway space like this anywhere so, other than here. This is the front. This of your is the front of the house. house. If you look at everything this house has, as far as the the trim, the pieces, the details, everything this house has. On top of that, this amazing covered patio that you can enjoy all day long right here. Okay, so what we wanna do, we wanna get you inside of this house here. And first of all, show you around. As you can see, we are out in the middle of the country, but we didn't have to drive two, three hours away from Houston to get here. So this is a new community. In fact, we talked to uh, the sales rep in here. He's from Katy, been there since the 80s. And he said a lot of people from Katy, Cypress area, they're all coming out here. So the locals know something, but us, we're showing you guys exclusive access so there's a reason everybody's moving out here you're not far you're in the waller isd which is where bridgeland the the super popular ma uh, master plan community is so this is sharing borders with some of those major city suburbs but and man. this is another custom builder before we walk in jackson it's this is sitterly homes coming in let's look at these double wide doors you got the black trimmed out windows and now, this is a more wooden look right so a lot of yes. the other stuff we find is, is going to be more modern with the metal doors this is going to have a little yeah. bit of a different feel. it is before you come on in jackson there is nothing to hide because you are going to be in. amazed the minute you walk in what is it so come on in there ain't friend. no hiding you have just a look walk around. right into your modern farmhouse so immediately you ain't got to worry about how wide your entryway is or nothing you just walk into the goodness yeah all the uh fuzzy good feelings that come about when you walk into a house and say this is my house this hits it right here from the colors to the floor to the be the uh, stained beams on the ceiling everything that this house has to offer is really nice setting especially out here in the country on acreage so we were leaving this house and i didn't even see this jojo didn't see it so i had to come back look at this entryway so when you walk in we didn't even look straight up we were looking at the kitchen because it's so nice you have this whole tongue and groove white shiplap with three black chandeliers hanging down right there. It is awesome look right there. So when you come in, you get the super tall ceilings and then, I don't know how we didn't even notice it. I know you, my wife would have, but then you come down and you get the beautiful kitchen and all that. So thought I would throw that out there. Now let's get back to the video. First of all, I think you're gonna be really shocked at where the base price entry level of this home starts at. But first, let's go have a look around at everything else around this house. We'll come back to the living room kitchen here. So right away, there is one <coughs> unique thing about this house um, as we came in. As you you're do, entering. you come straight across into a double doors, French doors, and this is the study. Man, I'm pretty good at like daydreaming and dozing off. And yeah, <laughs> you sit here with these windows. You might start staring out and I don't know if you'd ever get any work done. It's just really pretty out here. Now, if you're gonna be out here in the country, you know, working from home, you're gonna have the high speed internet and all that, but maybe not only you're working, but your spouse is. Do you gotta share an office? We'll show you a little bit more here in a little bit. But and you know, being out here, what is something that's really neat that you still get from the from the city, Jackson? What's that? You can have del groceries delivered out here. Hey. What was it, Instacart or Insta, what yep. is it? Instacart. So we do have two double, you know, double closet here. Right when you walk in, you've got a coat closet there and another with the uh, custom shelves here and one of our favorite. And this is gonna be a bedroom with a full bathroom. Yep, which is obviously the sales office, but. 
And this is a Jack and Jill. What we wanted to do is just showcase the really cool tile floors. Again, a lot of color. You got the big oversized shower right here. And as you can see, I'll just turn you around. You've got a Jack and Jill. So this goes. And I'll get the door for you. You got it, Jackson? I'm walking through. Get the big closet. Again, look at how tall the door is. They have nice tall ceilings. It's open. So over here on this wing, you know, you have these two bedrooms and an office over there with, again, the really look, cool tile and shower. They do not leave you on a shortage of closets. I'm, I mean, how many times have we had so many people that said, Joe, I just want a lot of closet space. You have it here. You got it here. Well, we can't go to the left. Yeah, that's the primary. Hold on. That's right. We, we like to save on. that, Jackson, uh, you know? But I just get excited. Out. It's just everything's so nice. And uh, you when get. you're out here in a new refreshed product. I'm going to show them though. This is you uh, wake up in the morning, come out to your living room kitchen and Jojo's in your house. You'd be like, what are you doing? That's here, right. Jojo? And you'd be so, like, what, making them coffee? So we have the kitchen right here. Before we showcase that, Jackson, should I get these nice doors open? This is what's Look, cool. We've been to a lot of them. This one is super wide. So let's see what this looks like on here. Extra here we... pump on Jojo. Get the pump on right here. I like this. This is uh, a super wide door. So I know the entertainment style on this is gonna be phenomenal. Well, and here's the big difference. You know, a lot of the houses that we come in, again, new construction and the developments, you're gonna walk into, again, a big like entryway here and then the kitchen and all that so this one's different it's just straight up you walk in the house you can see the back of the house and it is ultimate open you know entertaining space dining space man look at that slider it just impacts there. you from the minute you walk in the front door but look at this outdoor space you're able to open this up they have a fireplace outside for entertainment again if someone needed particularly said you know what joe I, I would like this extended out for more patio space they do it uh, they even had one client um, that he was mentioning that even took part of this wall and they wanted to match it up with the back side of this over here so they can do anything that's you know especially when you them. got over an acre to play with right yeah when you got over an acre to play with not only can you get a pool out here look at this oversized fire pit man oh man this is pretty nice joe joe now here's what's cool you know we're we're Look how gorgeous this home is, even standing from the backside, Jackson. Yeah, we're in that February time You don't frame, have you know? just a straight house that just goes all the way from one corner to the other. There's so much detail going on throughout this house, not only with the stone, the siding, the brick, the fireplace, the sliders. This thing has everything going on. Yeah, and then here's, you know, your background. That's, this part's actually... The lake is just on the other side. It's down over there, so you'd have, you know, you could go. And they have multiple little pocket lakes out here as well. So. Yep. Next few months, you know, it's starting to hit 70s. Even might tip 80. You know, right now we're we're still in February. This so is this really is great weather. I, I love our weather out here in uh, in Texas, Houston, Texas specifically. Yep. You know, pretty much around late February through June 1st. I mean, we got great weather off and on. Man, you imagine that? I just got to give them their view right here. Look this. at this. I know this is amazing. So. Cool. Now let's go into the kitchen. So exciting. I can't get enough of it, Jojo. That's the biggest slider kitchen. <laughs> slider kitchen? Slider and kitchen. Okay, and gotcha, gotcha. Room. Now, if you, you like what this builder You've been closing that for like five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> this is a pretty heavy door. It's big. <laughs> you're you're going to be <laughs> winded here in a little bit. Now, okay. Sitterly Homes, is they're a custom home builder and they build in some primary spots around Houston. So if you like something like this, but this isn't the area for you, we can find you something a little bit closer in and some of the other areas you just have to reach out. I think people are like, I dig this space. I love it too. So let's go uh, continue the tour. I mean, obviously you got the nice custom kitchen. And they went all the way to the ceiling. They went to colors. the ceiling, they put detail in it. You still have your gas appliances here. You have a wall of uh, cabinets over here you know with the window they they really emphasize the windows in these houses out here with this acreage estate so that everywhere you look you're just kind of looking out there at the, at the green and space, really what i would like to even show is how they even thought about this most most of them you have a minimum of three feet right this is look, look how far this is this is a real wide space so you have two people working through here when you're entertaining and it's like nobody's bumping into each other yep tons of room while someone's at the sink someone can be cooking and you ain't booty bumping there, Joe. That's okay. I, I didn't want to have to say it, Jackson. But yes. <laughs> All right. So what do we got going here? So over here you have a nice little uh, half bath ensuite. The half bath off of the kitchen here. And then you have a nice little utility room right over here. Okay. So you can get the washer dryer. You got cabinets. Plenty of counter space. Plenty of counter space. Now you got a dining room over here. You got an oversized dining room, and they really showed you 
how oversized this is. They yep. have oversized chairs, oversized table. They even have a stowaway right there. What do you? What is this space, Jackson? What is it called? I, you know. That is, uh, my wife would kill me because it's like a not a nook. I so don't know. it's the modern. I mean, it's like a dresser. Yeah, kind yeah of thing. it, it is. Let's it call it a dresser. Let's just move on. Yeah, so We're gonna get on. beat up in the comments. Here's what's cool, you know, I just kind of was noticing it's not only light floors, it almost looks, you know, like that old rustic, you know, house look, like from the yeah. 1900s. It's a really cool wood Yeah, it's, it's kind of got that knotty pine yep. mixture with the oak style wood floors, actually, it has that wood. So let's say both you and the significant other are working from home. So this is an option, right? This is an option right here. This is technically a game room. It can be paired as a secondary study, a flex space. It's just a lot of space in here. Really cool. And now like I said, there was a request to even push back that wall even further and yep. they are able to do that as well to match up the other one okay and we'll come through the kitchen again because it never gets old i mean this kitchen's so nice it's one of those kitchens that you know you'd wake up in the middle of the night and come look at your kitchen you know <laughs> i keep kind of walking through i'm not watching you i'm just looking around <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this this walking in here, the, your, the first impression is, is this, it, it, you question yourself in, is this a primary bedroom? Right. Because look at the, remember the, uh, the cathedral ceiling yep. that we have usually we see in the in the living areas? What well, has it in this ensuite, guest suite, yeah, in-law suite? TNG roof too. It just adds a really cool. It really does. It being. really does. So come on in. It even has its own entry right here, Jackson. Oh, I didn't even notice that. So that goes, you know, right outside there. It's right outside where we first walked in. So they got their own little porch. They got here. their own little porch here. Check out how cool these are. They poured concrete and even tiled that little. So imagine stuff. that is cool. Imagine you have your in-laws here. They wake up and they have their own little porch to enjoy their coffee. Yep, and I was telling Jojo, I have a friend, they lived you know, by me and they ended up moving out in the country and building a custom home. And you know, you gotta find the five, 10 acres, all that. This is, you know, you're able to do it here. And what, yeah. what did he say you could do to this ensuite? Let's oh, see that is Oh, that is a good question. I mean, a, a good point you made, Jackson. Yep. So they were able to ex extend this a little bit and have a kitchenette also in here. So that means that you could have almost like your full efficiency in here for your in-laws or anybody else that's living in this side of the house. Yep, he said one of their clients, they extended the wall out a little ways. Um, and yeah, had a full kitchenette in there. So, I mean, you can really have all the space for yep. in there. And they got their own full bathroom full here. Full bath, really closet, nice. shower. Cool tile. Got the drop down tile shower there. See how big the closet is, good. And they even did that that wood in here, which looks really nice. And then you got a full walk-in closet both ways with tons of space in here. This is really a nice room. Were you just staring out the window, just imagining yeah. yourself here, Jojo? <laughs> I got you. Again, man, you said closets. Oh, that ain't a closet, Jojo. You missed it. <laughs> the pantry, right? That's a pantry. I nice. thought that was just more storage, but. No, uh, nice walk-in pantry here as well. Yeah, that's one thing, you know, I mean, you're, you're out here in the country a little bit. You definitely want some space where you can store some that's stuff, right. you know? And you got plenty of it there. They have plugs in here. All right, let's go check out that primary. So follow me over to the primary bedroom, Jackson. Gladly. Okay, now, as we walk into the primary bedroom, you do have a little closet here, linens. Okay. And then you have double doors. How many times have we walked into a double door? Not many, Jojo. Into a house. So I'm gonna have to invite you in like I do the front front of the house, Jackson. Welcome me. Welcome to the owner's retreat. This is pretty cool. Yeah. So you got the shiplap back there. They do a lot of color. They do a lot really. of shiplap. That new blue is popping, you know? Yeah. It is a blue. It's like a dark, dark blue. It's like a dark blue. blue something but that's a really you know i know you were sharing a lot of the greens are pop a locking too but pop this blue locking. you know yep <laughs> so you got a good one again this you know you got views out here to uh your yard acreage your fire pit then you come into your farmhouse bathroom right got here your farmhouse bathroom you have your little toilet area right here they even allowed you to enjoy your massive acreage backyard with a window in here as well. Doing the business. Hey, you wouldn't have to be on your phone looking. You just kind of look out at the old backyard there. Nice space. And you know, even though we make light of it, you, might, you really might be saying, I love everything about it, but I want privacy. Yep. You can request obscured glass for that. Yep. And then right over here, Jackson, that's pretty unique how they put the even the shower behind over here by itself before oh, yeah. you enter the closet. And it's, it's oversized. It's really big shower in here. Got the sit down, the JoJo sit down right there with the scrub brush. That's how I do it. And in here, you're gonna have your custom closet, so. Yeah, this is uh, nice as well. Yeah, this is a really good sized closet. But it comes back, it's a lot to the imagination. You know, a lot of people even put the California style closets in, you know, where they have all the, every, all the details going in. There's plenty of space to do that in here. Oh yeah, and you still got 
more customization mm -hmm. there. So yeah, plenty of room in the big, big closet here. So I think personally with this house, I mean, yes, as you've got a great size primary room, I mean, plenty big walk-in shower and tub, closet, all that. You know, some of the ones that we'll showcase, especially next week, you're gonna see quite you know, larger size, but also going into those, I don't know if you find a space as good as this. This is, I think, obviously where you're gonna spend the majority of your time and you're out here just hanging that country lifestyle and to have this amount of space, this square space here and, and almost 360 degree views of just the outdoors and that oversized slider there, man, that is just such a special, you know, unique feature to this kitchen, to this living room and to your future country living. What's up guys? This is a really fun one. We spent a lot of time out here. I know this is a little bit of a longer video than you guys are uh, you know, used to, but stick with me and here's the reason why. One, I'm about to show you where this is at, right? You might be thinking it's just a thousand miles away from anything. It's really not. Second, these are builders that are all throughout the communities, the master plan communities of Houston. So what I need you to do is continue watching this video as we tour inside of these houses so you can start picking up bedrooms, bathrooms, living rooms, fixtures, uh, kitchens, countertops, whatever that you see that you like, you can take mental notes of this stuff too. And then if you don't want to be in this community, when we find that house or that floor plan for you in the actual master plan communities of Houston, then we can actually go, hey, yeah, we're looking for this exact you know, build out, whatever it is. So take a lot of notes on that, but I'm telling you right now, we're gonna start getting into the custom homes. This is where it's really going to start changing. We go into one, it's sold. It's amazing, you'll see it stays. The second one, we're just gonna kinda speed through it because I just want you to see the difference in the floor plans. But the last one is just amazing. The third one, we're gonna go through it quick and then talk about those prices. That's the best part of this whole thing. But real quick, this is the website out here. It's called Lakeview. As you can see, they're really trying to just make this relaxing area. You've got your acreage, you're away from the hustle and the bustle, but just how far away from the hustle and bustle are you? Real quick, and we'll talk about that, what we're gonna be talking about is the builders. Now, the one that we don't go into today, we call it K-Hove, k, -Hove, k -Hove, I don't know, the K-Hove. Again, it's gonna have even more entry level, but we do highlight the other three builders in this area. So what I wanna do is, this is actually well, on the bottom here, phase one, it's 1160 acres, and this thing is just getting going, right? But it's all about the space. And why is it the space? Because basically this is out in the country road. So if we've got Houston, Texas right here, we've spent a lot of time lately out in Cyprus, and what do we always talk about? Bridgeland, the biggest master plan community, the fastest selling master plan community. Well, everything that we've been doing has been out in this section here, and it's all zoned Waller ISD, right? So the crazy thing that we heard about Waller is not only have they made the schools right now amazing, it has way less students per teacher ratio. They're gonna be adding at least one or two schools every single year until 2010. So this whole Waller ISD is gonna be the spot. Well, if you look at Waller just to the south, so in between basically uh, 290 and I-10, you've got this section right in here. This is where we're at today. You see the lake view? That's where we're at. So when you think about it, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so far out there. Yes, it kind of is. We drove uh, actually through the country roads here a little bit today. And then on the way home, we decided to take the 362 up to 290. It took just a couple minutes. You gotta realize that when you're driving this road and as you're seeing right now, you got some B-roll, it is nothing but cow fields and, and you know older homes. So it is kind of a haul ass highway all the way up into 290 and we were able to zip. And this was at four o'clock right into the to the 99 and get where we needed to be. So it is out there a little bit, but when you think about, you know, Bridgeland's being built here and this is just right here, everything's starting to come out this way. You've got Katy, you've got Ellison, all the master plan communities getting close. These are gonna be thousands and thousands, 10 plus thousand, homes. This is going to be all new shopping, everything. But now you're going to get that acreage estate. That's why all the people from Katy and Cypress are now moving out here. And that's what we heard. This video took us a ton of time. We were out there super late. In fact, I'm finishing it tonight. I am very tired, but I am having so much fun doing this. And you know what's the best part about it? You guys. Did I just say you guys? I mean, y'all. That's what you're supposed to say down here. You guys are hitting that like button. You guys are commenting every single week and we appreciate it so much. Every time we're out in the community, we are meeting more and more of you who are out there touring and that is amazing too. But if you would right now, make sure that you hit that like button. Me and the JoJo love it. And secondly, make sure you're commenting down below which one of these houses out there do you like the most? And do not, I mean do not miss the last house, the fifth house that we show today. It is one of the most 
most impressive things that I've ever seen in the price. Holy crap, I'm ready to move. All right, so you want space? Well, we have come to the right location that gives you more than enough space. We had so many people reach out and say that they don't wanna to touch their neighbors. Well, here you have it at minimum one acre lots to two acre lots. Two and a half, Jojo. And two and up to two and a half acre oh, lots. Custom yeah. builder right here, Jamestown Builders. You've seen them in other communities. Now they're out here in the country or smack dab in the middle of the country. However, we still are close enough to your HEBs and your modern conveniences to the left and to the right of you, Jackson. So That's let's right. go on in and take a look around. So this is a little bit different, Jojo. We can't just turn around and get in the house. We got to walk away, so. We do, look at this massive yard. Again, these are one to two acre lots on average. These look. homes right here, this house where we're gonna walk into, Jackson, custom home. So what that means on here, they have some other ones that build a lot faster, but they will build from scratch. So you're able to be a part of the imagination of what you always wanted in a house. This is what, the, your dream of what you wanted in a house is gonna come to life here. All right, so we're gonna take you in here, but this house has actually been sold. So somebody bought it and we're gonna pop into the next one right over here and we're gonna go show you that it's not staged, but again, they're building them. And then yes, you have full design with these houses too, if you wanna build your own. So. And one of the cool things about before we even walk in this particular uh, home Jackson is that this is the beginning stage out here so there's over 1200 acres of these acreage lots out here all right Jackson we'll come on in and have a look around at this gorgeous country style home a lot of modern modern farmhouse style as you'll see with the light honey color colored floors man first of all you just had to slam that this is all thick yes hardcore metal now this is walking into a grand entrance and again no neighbors in sight all no neighbors space. in sight. You're just gonna, I mean, this house just feels great all the way around. Traditional home coming into the study as you walk through the door. And don't be, you know, don't worry about this stuff, guys. The, the sales office is in here. Um, they're, you know, obviously letting us tour it right now, but that would be your office right away. And we wanted to get you into this house because like I said, they build these basically from the imagination on these floor plans custom. And so this house is already sold, so there's not gonna be another opportunity to see what this floor plan looks like if you reach out and say, hey, I want that a specific type floor plan. Yep. So come on over here and let's take a look before we get into the nice part. Oh, well, it's all nice, but you know, the kitchen, everybody wants to know about the kitchen. It's massive. Here's a bedroom with the full bath. Okay, so you got full towel floor, bath. And you went way back there. Where are you, Jojo? Right here, so this is a bedroom. However, because they were using this as the sales office, this was, you know, basically their, their meeting room as well. And then look, you have the outdoors here, walk-in closets. So it's pretty, you know, just unique. We're gonna probably touch on this a bunch, but you know, this is like kind of the country living. This is when you move to Texas and you want that space, you want the you, massive home. This is really it. You want the space, the quietness. We're gonna share this throughout the video. One of the biggest pluses in this neighborhood. I'll share Let's that go. with you in a little bit, Jackson. They wanna see more of this house, Jojo. Yeah. I was about to move you along. Yeah. This is it. Just so, yeah, look so at this big massive. open plan, it's massive. I will tell you this, just a sneak peek too, you're out in the country, you're gonna get the most exposure to the outdoors when it comes at night for the stars. And it's, I mean, if you haven't been out here at night and look at the stars, it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and you might be able to see it up through the video, I'm not sure. There's actually a tractor plowing out there right now, which is pretty crazy. And you have a tree line that's several, you know, thousand yards away. That's all gonna be development out that way. 1,100 plus acres of development of these one, yeah. to, one to two and a half acre properties. Yeah, so again, I love that they do this and they put these massive chandeliers in here because you know, like when we walked into the homes in Bridgeland Jackson and some of those massive homes, I've always said, hey, take a look at the chandelier because it'll give context on how big the space is. Yeah, and I was actually back in this corner. You this can space, just see it. This, these chandeliers, I mean, it, this space is humongous, so it does not they don't even look out of place as big as they are. All right, so right into your custom kitchen, and I mean, it's crazy how much just room there is in here. How yeah, and long. I like the, how they contrast uh, the colors between the uh, uppers and the bottom cabinets. Yep, very, very custom feeling. And so over here, they put obviously the 48 inch gas cooktop professional series. Could you even cook on that, Jojo? I can cook all oh, kinds of stuff. and I. Yep. You'd be cooking your hot dogs on there. I'd be doing up the fajitas. Burgers, smash burgers. So you got the dining area here. Yes, and look how big these tables are. This is an eight table chair and you still have room to expand for even a bigger table. Yeah, so they've almost got, I mean, there's a big space here, which is nice. You don't have to have like your dining room table there. 
and look at how much room you still get for that open concept. You do have access right here, a back door. We're gonna show you something really cool here in a second, but this would access your pool right here. And you might be thinking, well, that's awesome, but it also goes right into my dining room, right? Got to show that pool. We got the stereo bumping out here. Big covered patio. Got the pool slash hot tub so you can heat the hot tub. Got the view of the country out back. You're living life out here, Jojo. This is it right here. You know, you got cows. This is where you can go out and get your fresh farm uh, <laughs> eggs, right? <laughs> So anyways, we'll, we'll walk back in, but you know, you have access to the pool from this door and you might be like, well, I don't want everybody going in my kitchen all the time. So they got a little extra over here. I'll meet you over there, Joe. Joe. Okay. All right. So let's go in and finish up on the house and what it has to offer and what it features. More importantly, what's, what's really unique about this house that you'll notice as we walk through, every single bedroom is pretty much spread out throughout the house. So you don't have a hallway of just nothing but bedrooms. So everybody has their own privacy spot. So come this way. You noticed we have a bedroom over here. Yeah, what we got in here? Just a closet? Okay, cool. This is a closet and you're gonna see that there's plenty of closet space. And we didn't even get to the pantry, but here's a full bath over here. Yep. This is like your wet area for the outdoor pool That's area. That's what I was gonna talk about because I didn't know these when I moved here to Texas, but this is a great access point right here to the pool because not only can you go out to the pool, but everybody who's got to go to the bathroom is right here. Right there. And it's a wet area. And they can come in and shower off either before you get into the pool so it doesn't get nasty afterwards or whatever, but you can lock this door here and then people can come in and out. And it's wide enough. You know how everybody comes in here and changes all their kids and yeah. every, all the little blowed out diapers are out here? <laughs> <laughs> that's our life with all the kids, but that's a really good feature that you're not gonna get in a lot of the new construction homes and the developments, like having these separate rooms yeah. for, for pools. And then- So as we come into this game room, Jackson, man. look what we have here, our famous sliders. Yes, yeah, so great again, entertaining space. Man, you could have the pool going. Imagine having a party here. TVs, slider, Look at this. This pool. is true game room style living right here. Jojo, send me a puck over here. Let's see how good you are on the spot, baby. Let her roll. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's sand, uh, salt, No, it, it, dirt. There, there's an issue with the sand, Jackson. Buckets. Look at that, Jojo. Right there, baby. Dude, no problem. Okay, so yeah, you have this complete entertainment access sliders over here. You'll have a bedroom uh, to the left and to the right. Yep, so these are two good sized bedrooms. And again, they got their own wing over here, you know? So it does have a Jack and Jill through there. Yep, it has their own wing that comes through here. They have a Fall. full bath for uh, a privacy here and then they could, someone could still use the sink but still have the privacy of the shower and the toilet right there. And really tall ceilings all throughout. Look at, look at the- It's just a really clean uh, floor plan overall. And I love how you have the two bedrooms here. Across the other side of the kitchen, you have another bedroom. You have the one where we walked in and then not only that, you have the primary bedroom by itself. You hear that, Jojo? That's a waterfall from your pool, it is. man. Walk-in closets. And look yep. at the uh, uh, wide door, Jackson. It's not just tall, it's even wider. And guess what, guys? They're solid doors, too. These aren't hollow, so you got big custom walk-in closets. Just a lot of detail. Again, these are custom palms, so you can have a lot of design in these. Unbelievable. All right, Jojo, so what we got to do is go... This, this is country living at its finest. Yep. Because, you know, once you're here in your own little domain out here, you want to enjoy everything that it has to offer down to the outdoor entertainment, the pool, the serenity, the country, the indoors, everything that has to offer out here just gives you that, you know, lifestyle. That, that lifestyle. Now look at this, Jackson. I know. On the other side, the back side of the kitchen, look at this amazing pantry. Huge pantry, floor to ceiling, tons and tons of storage. Again, eliminates all the stuff you gotta keep out here. And it's just right on the backside. So this is cool too. They put in these outlets, cause we just did a remodel and we didn't do this and I really wish we would have, but having the countertops. So now you can put blenders, toasters, yeah. anything in here. Espresso actually, machines. Yeah, and keep it out of the kitchen, so. So come on this way and let me share something pretty unique to you. Before we get to this bedroom, let's go over here to the utility room. Oh. And because you know we're out in the country, we know you guys have them little fur babies, right? Here's your pet station. Little or big. Look at this. That is it, your country living, you gotta wash that doggy. No, no stone left unturned out here. You talk about, you know, the blowout, man. I'd have my four-year-old up there. I'd be blowing yeah, him out Yeah, see right here, there. get them all right there. Don't even come in the house, Ripper. We're washing you. So this is really good size. You got washer dryer in the you back. You got your washer and dryer. It's got the electric, the gas. Yep. 
you know, it's got a little counter space. It's got a stowaway for, you know, all the mops, yeah, yeah. brooms, toilet paper, you know. Whatever you want to put in there. Whatever you want. Come in from your massive car. And that's one thing we noticed. There was three, four car, I mean, this is yeah. big. So you can even get four car garages out here. If you look here, this is a four car garage, two and two right there. Okay, yeah, this thing is huge. So yeah, this is oversized. Obviously there's a lot of customization. If you needed something even higher, imagine if you had like a little RV or anything that you needed to roll yep. into here, you That's got it. Good. So not only did we have a guest suite, what we call an in-law suite up front, you have another bedroom over here that could even be a secondary in-law suite because it's all by itself over here on this side of the house. I didn't even know this one. I didn't even check this one out. Again, another full bathroom. So that's five bedrooms complete in this house. Yeah, I mean, there's the one Jack and Jill. This one's a full bathroom, but the rest of them are all, like you said. And look at the oversized closets. Now that you say that though, it is like, everything seems so separated. You it know? does, it uh, is completely separated. Each other. So nobody's on top of each other out here. Okay, it's primary time, Joe. So not only are you not right next door to your neighbors, you're not right next door to all your family members inside either. Yep, there's like all these different wings to the house. Yes. So if we come across this living room, Jackson, we are gonna get into the primary bedroom over here. I love what they did with the windows because you're able to enjoy the outdoors out here, especially being that you're on acreage. Look at this room, Jackson. You got so much space in here. You have coffered ceilings. You have great window that overlooks the outside, the pool area. And you're gonna really be amazed, Jackson, at this uh, primary bathroom. Yep. And right here, they're not like, you know, some of the new homes in the neighborhoods, they, they make them big and open. This one doesn't feel like they're trying to push. It's it, not, it's just yeah, big. It's, it's just not so overpowered, but the way they structured it, it gives its own unique space within this uh, master retreat. Yep, so I mean, kind of countless ideas here. But again, it's like that living where you're gonna be just looking outside, you know, the whole time. Check out your view from your yeah. bed right there, Jojo. That ain't half bad. All right, let's check out. As we come into the primary bath, look at this oversized soaker tub. You have an oversized shower head. You have double shower heads here. Huge. You got the toilet behind you, the nice tile. And I'm gonna, let me, let's go to this closet right here. This is uh, two closets, Jackson, and not only, small ones they are oversized closets what in the heck do you even put right there joe right here this, this is you could put whatever <laughs> the heart desires but imagine having a big old gigantic safe in here oh yeah it could be something that's your hot and cold right there shut off valves yeah i mean i guess it's kind of endless what you can put there but yeah, you, you could even put have storage safe. to the attic yeah oh yeah right here you have yeah storage, you could put a so big safe in there. in there you could just put extra stowaway so you can see the size of this walk-in closet there now let's go check out you could even do like we've seen the hidden rooms and tell them to customize that wall and push through and that would be cool but look at this closet here this one has a little island in it Man. you know so you got all the custom cabinets here all the hangers hangers shoes all for the shoes for over here days. for days I mean, there's just plenty of room in, in this closet. If, if it didn't even have a second closet, this would be enough. Then you come, you have seating area here. I like the way they tucked it, tucked these in here so you can have your, your shampoo oh, and different items too. Yeah, your little a, niches right here. I've never seen that, that's a great idea. All right, so we are leaving this one here. And what we want to do, again, this one's been sold. They have one right around the corner over here, actually down the road, which is a little over 3,000 square foot. Again, we're going to reveal all these prices at the end. Again, to get custom this nice, I think you'll be shocked at the prices out here. But what we want to do is go over here and check out that house it's the new model house that they're building so this is going to take over they're going to take the furniture out of this one and put it into that house and he's given us exclusive access and we're going to follow him right now to go get you guys into that one all right jojo so this is actually a little bit bigger than the other one once you get us in but it's actually a little bit cheaper and we'll talk about prices yeah. in a little bit but now we're going to go into a different floor plan so, but custom home so we've got the black trim black roof and the green but man what a cool and being that this house is for sale jackson look what kind of door comes with this house not only is it solid but it has the glass feature and it's obscured so yep. it gives best of everything <laughs> <laughs> this is a heavy door. Now, again, I'm just going to speed through this. This one wasn't staged, so you're not going to get the feeling like you did on the last one. But what I want to do is actually they have a plot map of the of the actual lot size. You got to see this to believe it. This is what you're actually getting. Let's check it out. And if you have an idea here is they left this so you could see the lot dimensions here. 
So we're down here on the southern end, that massive house we're in right now, and you get this Look at this right here. This is showing you that just from this lot all the way back to the back, it's 453 feet. Let's go ahead and check that out. That is all of your property to yourself. Now you get the big, tall, This the patio is a lot bigger on this one, a lot taller. This one has, yeah, a taller feature, more of a square than the other was trying, you know, more of a rectangle, not yep. triangle. No pool yet, but they work with a, a great pool company here. They said they can put them in for you. So even though you have more yard space on this house, what they've done here is they fence this in. So imagine if you have dogs or anything like that, at least you can contain them, but they left a door right there, Jackson, so you could have access to it. Yep, so you could actually drive out there with your side-by-side -side or whatever you got. And again, this is an area where you can have your toys, you can have your RVs, you can have your boats, your, your four-wheelers, if you have uh, project cars, all that kind of stuff. They allow, with consistency of the homes, they allow you to build workshops out here. Say you want a 20 by 30 workshop. That can be done out here. See, that's that Northwest style. We had to have our shops, Jojo. It was more important. Well, than the as house. a matter of fact, Jackson, we had someone reach out this past week, and one of our uh, agents is taking care of him. And he said that he wants to move here temporarily, but he's coming from a place that he wants all his toys and all the things that he needs. Yep. So this is a particular place. If you're listening, this would be a type of place for you to, to be able to look at and consider, knowing that you can have accommodate all, all the things that you are looking for. Now, see, you get a ton of space there, but what I want to do is just really quickly show you the difference. There's actually a massive difference between the living room and kitchen of the first house that we went into and this one. So we're going to show that plus the primary because this primary bedroom, bathroom, and closet is unbelievable. So let's check that out. So it's, it's really a different layout, guys. It's not nearly as long. This one's a lot wider, as you can see. So it's got more space on the width. Still has good heights, but the other one was definitely a lot like just longer this way. And just so you know, this house uh, has 40, it comes, it's 4,200 square feet. Gotcha. Well, let's go check out the primary. All right. So come on into the primary. Again, nice windows to the outdoors. And then you have just these nice uh, cathedral style ceilings that are in here. Much bigger. The other one's very big too, but it just has the, the tall flat yeah, it's ceiling. Yeah, it's the height that does it. This is, you know, the same height as you get out here, you know, in your kitchen. So this thing, you know, it doesn't have the furniture in here, so it could be a little bit different, but um, just feels so much bigger with that, that tall ceiling there. All right, come on into the primary bath, Jackson. Righty. You're not gonna even be able to find me in here. All right, let's go looking for the JoJo. We looking for the JoJo. Holy moly, he ain't in there, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Jackson. Okay, I really didn't oversized know where you were. shower, and I had to sit down again. With JoJo with the sit down. I just wanted to to kind of really highlight that it go. It has some depth to it. It really is a nice oversized, you know, shower. Yep. And that's what's cool about these bathrooms. Man, you get the custom tub, the oversized, you know, custom shower. You're not kind of sacrificing for one or the other. You get both of these. You do. You do. Again, huge closets. Again, another huge closet. Hey, Jackson, you remember when we talked about what we could do with that other closet? Yeah. Um, this one right here, like I said, they make them all unique. So we haven't walked this house before, but look what they did. Stop it. That, uh, so I'm telling you. I'm gonna tell you right now, he didn't plan that. We didn't even come in this we house. We have not been into this house. Is... First time walking in here. Joe, Joe, you so. know everything about these homes. This is cool. So again, you could put your safe in here. You can yeah. put whatever. And you're um, probably wondering what this is. I know so many people walk through. This is what you're called your low voltage area so this is where your internet and your high speeds and everything else and you put your your security system throughout here yep so now you can actually have a safe in yeah. here you know we out here in the country y'all so we got to get that big safe but now you know it's it looks like just a you know closet there or whatever it's a closet so the, yeah it's a great idea and I, I knew they could do it and then you have access to the attic there so there's more seasonal storage space you need me to get that jojo Jackson, I told you I'm about five, <laughs> six, six, five there. All right, let's get you out this other closet because that's where I was looking for you at the beginning, but. Okay, if you want another bedroom, you have it in here. Holy. This is big, dude, I'm telling you. There's no way. I mean, see the gist of this? This is the biggest closet I think we've walked into to date. So what do you think your kids would do if they came and walked this house, Jackson? They would just go like crazy, crazy in here, right? Crazy. Well, and I gotta admit, make me a bad dad or not, but when we moved here to Houston, we had a big old, you know, a, a good size walk-in closet. It was nothing like this, but we didn't have another bedroom close and we had a baby. So we actually turned it into like kind of a yeah. nurse because it was close to us. So yes, I put my kid in a closet. That's the way you could say it. But uh, man, you got enough room in here to put well, octuplets. If, if you had mentioned that you put your kid in the closet to sleep. <laughs> well, you're I making mean, it sound real bad, Jojo. <laughs> this is really a bedroom. It it's is. Not, it's not a closet. 
this is actually bigger than most of the rooms in there. So, you know, you live out here in the country, you got the overalls, the coveralls, the, the cowboy cowgirl boots, and then you get all the fine wear stuff. Man, could you imagine living out here? And then that's what's cool, even in your closets, you know? You got, look at the lake. So this is gonna have a massive lake. You can go kayaking, fishing on. You got all the space. You're on over two acres here. It's a really cool look. All right, so you guys can vote real quick which one of these floor plans you're liking best. I think this one with the primary, you know, over here, the primary bedroom and bathroom and closets is much bigger and the other ones seem to have more of a bigger space here take the pool out of it yeah the other one's got the pool that's nicer but this one obviously is meant to have one as well but you're gonna have just more you know width space here where the other one has more length space so again you guys comment down below which one are you guys liking best and this one is available like we mentioned the other one is not so if you're loving this and you gotta have it look at my main man jojo he's just on the phone waiting for you to call because that's what we do. All right, first of all, Jojo and I want to thank you for watching this long. These houses are amazing, and we're going to go in and now show you the prices of all these houses. But first, I know we just went through those massive custom homes by Jamestown. Well, this is another one, and we're going to go in here, and we're going to show you all the prices. But the reason we wanted to do it is because, man, that's a loud truck. All of those custom homes, you might be thinking, well, that's too big, that's too expensive. We're gonna get you into this one that is a shocking price, but really tell you the prices of everything. All right, Jackson. Again, covered back, covered back, covered front port, double doors. Yeah, and this one's a little bit different because we got wood doors we and got, more of a traditional look to it, but the inside, remarkable. Yes, remarkable, so come on in and have a look around, Jackson. All right, we wanna jump right on in and show you the prices. However, we have to show you this house first. This Again, this is 3,200 square feet, and you'd be shocked about what the price is on this one for this acreage property. Yep, so we've been through a lot of these, a lot of the same themes. This one's kind of cool because you can see back there, it's an office, but it's got a full closet and around the corner is your toilet and a full shower. So this could be the in-law suite. You've got two bedrooms over this way here. You've got the super tall ceilings, chandelier, and here's your, you know, big, massive kitchen. But what I really wanted to show you, one, you've got the big pantry there, room for your oversized fridge top-end appliances, 48-inch stove. But you'd be coming in from the garage right here. You've got a drop station. You got a half bath right here. And then if you look, you've got your utility room right here. First of all, I think this tile is bitchin' cool. So you got the washer, dryer, countertops, and you're kind of wondering, what the heck does that go to? Well, you're gonna see this oversized master bedroom here. In fact, it's almost bigger than the big custom. It is pretty wide. It has trade ceilings on here. Yeah, you're right, Joe. Just so the first one had, you know, trade ceilings. The second one was vaulted. This one's just bigger overall, but smaller floor plan. So this one kind of focuses more yeah, on the it, primary. Yeah, it's a smaller footprint. Now, if it, mind you, the, some of the other ones are above 4,000 square feet. This one's 3,200 square feet. But it's almost like they really made this primary bedroom bigger, so they're focusing on it. Correct. And then you get into this and really. And you're, you're purchasing at a couple of hundred thousand dollars less yep. than the bigger product. So, so come on in, super clean bathroom. Get the big walk-in shower, tub, and you got a big closet over there. And you know what? That's not the only one, Jackson. It's not, wait. That's huge though. This is well, why suit we wanted yourself. to show you this is more, This is more my style closet, okay, Jackson? <laughs> Come in here. Come in here, this massive sprawling, enough for all the Jordans that you have or That's shoes. Right. So this is what's cool about this one. You guys can Drawers. comment down below, but this one has the big custom closet, but as you can see, it goes into the utility room. So how nice would this be? Washer, dryer, bring it out, folding station right there in the laundry room. It, it is that. nice to have the utility right here. Not only that, you have an oversized utility. You have Yep. Plenty of counter space. You have a sink. You have oversized here. You still have a closet in here. So there's a lot going on in this utility. You know what's scary? They put the brewski fridge too close to the primary bedroom here. So you could have the brewskis right here. So while you're in your closet, you know. Oh yeah, Jackson. You would think <laughs> of that, right? You never know, man. Shower beer. All right, Jojo. <laughs> you never know. Take us out. Let's go look at some prices here. I know Shower. they're ready for it. All right, so Jojo, what I want to do is we started with that David Weekly house, and then what we did is we went next door, and then we came over to a couple of these Jamestowns. So why don't you just kind of run through? Yeah, let me, let me run through are. some of the things, and we don't have an entirety like we do as the master plan communities where they're building at scale. This is an exclusive community that they're going to build out so many homes. It, however, it is a 10-year project. This, so right now we're in Jamestown. Which one did you want to get into, Jackson? Let's start with the very first house, which is that David Weekly house. 
and the base kind of model that we showed today. Okay, so the David Weekly Home, like I said, they build those already uh, spec'd out and there's some minor changes and you'll see those here when they say structural and flex options and they'll tell you what those are, like extended covered porch, for example. Their lowest base price, Jackson, is 622. And that's with over an acre or a two acre well, lot, right? That's, that's one of the plans. So yep. you can, let me uh, rewind a little bit. That was the other side. Their smallest one is in the low 500s base. Perfect. Okay, so you can purchase completed out house at 550 in the mid 500s. And it's still with an acre out here. And it's still with a minimal acre lot and on that top one of that. that we saw completely decked out every bell and whistle so the house yes yeah, so the house we walked in completely decked out that's going to put you right around that seven little over seven hundred thousand mark however that house traditionally if you would build on another lot and not deck it out a hundred percent like that one it would run you around 650 on average perfect next up we went next door which i thought was the coolest living room kitchen that was that was sitterly homes yep and uh they're an all-time favorite custom builder as well well, well, they have that they're they're able to do a lot of customizations like pushing yep. out that wall and matching it up and so forth. They're going to run around that 800 mark. They do have uh, starting if you see here 659 on base price on their first elevation. Obviously, if you're going to get all the details in it and everything else, you're going to want to be on that C elevation. That particular home that we saw was pushing right over what was it a uh, 3,700 yep. square feet, 38. You could push it in well over to the 4,000s. That house completely decked out the way it sits, at, and you saw that we walked into it with all the details. That set a million fifty dollars. Yep, and that's all decked out. So you're sub a million dollars for that one yes. if you want to get into it base price. But they do have some similar models if you like the way they build it. Yes, you Again, can be in the eights finished out all day yeah, long. Yeah, starting you know six, sevens, and, and eights all finished out. And then we came to these super customs. And then we came to Jamestown. So. If you notice that they're in a lot of the major, not every major one, but one of the specific ones was in, uh, what, Sienna? Yep. Out there. And so that they will actually have a product that pushes well over into the 4,000 square foot range. And that particular house is around the million, 1.1, 1.2. We were talking with the rep out there and, and we wanted to know how much could they put into a house and how much could they stretch it out with square footage with their maximum amount they're going to push probably a little over that 2 million mark but their middle ground is going to be around that 1.1 1.2 so the first one we walked into with the pool that one is at 1.2 and mind you that had a pool and one of the few builders that can do the pool closing at the same time the other one that they have available is 1.1 and get get this jackson the one we're standing in Yes. Drum roll. Okay, this one's at $850,000. That's what we're talking about. So still the same custom builder. This one he said is available and it's in the $800,000 It range. is, yes. And you still, as you see, you get, this is what comes with the house. You have yep. a 48 inch double oven, chef style cooktop, enough for the flapjacks, the smash burgers and the buns. And a view of your beautiful over acre sized lot. And look at some of those. Uh, also, just so you know, Jackson, uh, I know that it have some trees on this particular backyard. There are people bringing in many fruit trees and stuff like that. I know that's been an all-time favorite of you guys reaching out and asking, can I do pecan trees, orange trees, different type of fruit trees? You can do that here. So it's your job right now to vote down below which house did you like the most? And could you live out here in the country like this? Let us know. But this, this is a playlist of the most baller new construction houses that you can find in Houston, Texas. So go ahead and click into this playlist and watch all of these videos.